Mr. Russell. Eve, is Ethan gonna die or need to be on life support? His condition is not good, Gwen. Gwen, what happened? What happened to my son? Oh, Mama, that is how what happened. Ivy, did you call Sam? Yeah, I called him as soon as I, I heard, but I don't understand. Your message said Ethan was poisoned? He was poisoned by her. Dios mío. What? Ethan was poisoned. He is on a ventilator, all because of her. It was an accident. Oh, my God, he's on, on a ventilator? Eve, what's happening to Ethan? I was just about to update everyone on Ethan's condition. He's stable for the moment, but he is not breathing on his own, and he is unresponsive. So I think it's a little too soon for us to be making any predictions about the future. Eve, there's got to be something more you can do for him. There isn't anything we can do, Gwen. All we can do is let time go by and wait and see. He could gain strength and, and come right out of it. Or he could live for a very long time without ever regaining the ability to see or hear or speak. Oh, God. I, I don't understand, Teresa. Why would you poison Ethan? Because she is insane. She is crazy, and we all know it. Teresa, is this true? It's not the way that they're saying it. Yeah, it is true, Teresa. You poisoned my husband, and now he could die. How do you have the nerve to be here? Ethan could die because of you. Teresa, tell me what happened. Please tell me you did not do this. I didn't. Yes, Teresa, you did. You poisoned him. I would never hurt Ethan Gwen. That's a lie, Teresa. You have done nothing but hurt Ethan since the day you came into my home pretending to be a friend, pretending to be Gwen's friend. You insinuated yourself into our lives. I mean, we even hired you to design Gwen's wedding dress. And all you were doing was trying to get close to Ethan. You have caused him nothing but pain, and you have tried time and time again to take him away from Gwen. I lost my granddaughter because you fought with Gwen and caused her to miscarry. That was an accident. That was not an accident. No more than this was an accident. No, you know that's not true. I would never hurt Ethan. I love him. I don't know, Teresa. Maybe you decided if you can't have him, you'd rather see I would him never. Dead. Gwen, please. You can't believe that Teresa would do this. I believe it, Pilar. But I am telling you something. This is the last time you will ever hurt my son. If he should die, or God forbid, have to spend the rest of his life in a hospital bed, unable to enjoy life, unable to be a father or a husband. Then, by, by God, I will make you pay somehow. I swear, I will make you pay. Tell her, Ivy. No matter what you think that I have done to Ethan in the past, what I, I think you have done, Teresa, what I think, I know what you have done, every evil, despicable thing. But this is the most despicable. I mean, do you deny that you drugged Ethan and Gwen's surrogate so you could steal Gwen's embryo? And do you deny that you drugged Ethan so, so he would sleep with you and get you pregnant when you thought you miscarried our embryo? You stole my son from me, Gwen. I was desperate. desperate yes, desperate oh. is exactly how I would describe everything you do. And this time you were so desperate that you tried to kill my son. Ivy, don't do this. Don't, Pilar, don't. Don't you defend her. No. I know she's your daughter. But you have closed your eyes to her evil, outrageous behavior long enough. Because of you, my son could die. I don't want him to die, Ivy. I want him to live. He has to live. <laughs> you don't want him. It's always about what you want and what you need, isn't it, Teresa? Well, do you know what I want? I want you to be the one in there close to death. Why aren't you the one 
unable to live out your life. Ivy, my heart is breaking for Ethan, but Teresa did not do this. Yes, Pilar, she did do it. Your daughter is a vicious murdering bitch. You're 100% right, but we shouldn't waste any more time on this psycho. We need to spend our time with Ethan. Dr. Russell, may I please see Ethan first? Don't I... you dare! Don't you even think about going near my husband again! If you do go near my son again, Teresa, I will kill you. Please, everyone, I know this is a terrible time for all of you, but this is not helping. Eve, what, what can we do? What can we do to help him? Teresa needs to be put away. She needs to be put away where she can never hurt anyone ever again. Why hasn't she been arrested? She tried to kill his son. There's an investigation going on, and you believe me, she's going to be arrested. No creo que esto está pasando. Teresa, tell them. Tell them you didn't do this. Mama, it's not going to do any good. They're not going to believe me. You're right, Teresa, we won't. Hi, baby, it's me. I'm here with your mother. We're here. I want you to know you're going to be okay. You're going to come home, and, and you're going to be just fine. I know. I know you can hear us, Ethan. I know you can feel us with you. And you know how much we love you. We're praying for you to come back to us. Oh, God. Ethan, honey, I can't lose you. You're my wonderful, my beautiful boy. Dear God, please don't take him with me. God, I know you can bring him back. I know you have the power to bring him back. I'm begging you to let him live and let him be okay. He has so much to live for. He has so many people that love him and need him. He has a daughter who needs him, and I need him. Please don't let Teresa rob him of his future. She's taken so much from us already. Please let him live. Please let him live and be okay. Officer, what are you waiting for? She admitted that she poisoned Ethan, so, so arrest her now. Mother, what's going on? Look, the last policeman was not doing his job, but I really do not see why we have to wait for an investigation. She admitted that she poisoned Ethan, so let's take her off to jail right now. Mama, please don't let them do this. She's right, officer. My son is lying in there half dead, possibly brain damaged, and it's all her fault. Officer, she is the one who tried to kill my husband. Yes, so, so put the cuffs on her now. All right, hold, hold on, everyone. Just simmer down. All right, I need to ask some questions before I put the cuffs on anybody. Are you the doctor in charge? Yes, I'm Dr. Eve Russell. All right, Dr. Russell, first of all, can you tell me about the condition of the patient in there? Uh, Ethan Winthrop. He's critical. I'm not sure if he's going to live. And if he does survive, he may be severely brain damaged. Oh, God. And this condition was caused by drug overdose? An unintentional drug overdose. So, in other words, someone slipped into drugs. Not someone. Her. She put the drugs in the guacamole and Ethan ate it. So I want her to go to jail right now. Shut up, Rebecca. Did, did, did you not tell me to shut up, Pilar? Your slut of a daughter did this and you know it. All right. We'll find out who did what soon enough. I need to ask you to come down to the station house for questioning. And I'm sorry to hear about your brother. Your son was a fine police officer, ma'am. Thank you, o Officer Johnson. Officer, um, I'm not going to leave the hospital. I need to, to wait here in case something happens to Ethan. No, she does not need to be here. He is my husband. Look, I'm sorry, but if you don't come along, I'll have to place you under arrest. I'm not leaving here. Look, uh, can't you uh, question her here, somewhere in the hospital? Look, I'm sorry, Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald. The detectives will wander the station for questioning. Come along, Teresa. I'm not gonna go. I'm sorry, but you are under arrest for resisting an officer. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Please, please don't do this, please. 